Hello everyone, welcome back again. I hope you enjoyed last week's stuff on mindfulness just as much as I did. This week we're gonna talk about listening. Do we talk about listening a lot at school? I know. So we're gonna continue to talk about it because I need to remember too. So one thing about listening, when you're listening to somebody, what do your eyes do? That's right, they look at them. And what does your body do? Does your body wiggle around? Or does your body stay calm when you're listening? My body tries to stay calm. Sometimes it doesn't always. My ear is here. Sometimes I don't understand everything that's being said. So sometimes I have to say, can you say that again? And that's okay too. Today we're going to read a book. And this book is called Pass It On. This book is about a, a cow and his troubles. And all his friends were trying to help him, but nobody was listening to what was really going on. So let's see what happens. Marilyn Sadler, she's the author. She wrote the words, and the pictures are written by Michael Slack. He's the illustrator. Let's see. Pass it on. One day, B went to visit his friend, Cow. B looked in the barn. He searched by the river. He even checked under the apple tree. Finally, B found Cow in the back field. Cow was stuck in a fence. B offered to help. He's such a super friend. I'll get help, he said. B buzzed to Frog's pad and said, Cow is stuck on the fence. Pass it on. Frog hopped, hopped to tell pig. Frog said, cow put a duck in the tent. Can you pass that on? Hmm, I don't think that's what was said originally either. Pig trotted, trotted to tell goose. Pig said, cow's tent fell on a woodchuck. Pass it on. Goose waddle waddle to tell dog. Cow and Helen had good luck Pass it on. That doesn't sound like a cow stuck in a fence to me either. Dog ran to the house and barked at kitten. A good duck gave cow a penny. Pass it on, said duck. Just, just keeps getting sillier. Kitten ran inside and meowed to mouse. Cow has money. Pass it on, said kitten. Mouse reached outside down the hill to tell Helen. Cow has milk and honey, pass it on, said Mouse. Hmm, said Hen. I like milk, I like honey. Now I'm hungry. I wonder what they're gonna do. Hen and Mouse went to find Cow to get some milk and honey. What they heard was, where's the duck? I could use some luck. I like money. Is Woodchuck okay? I need that penny. Where's the honey? Look, the cow is stuck in a fence. I know, said B. That's what I said an hour ago. Cow needs our help. Let's work together. Ready? Ready. One, two, three. Did Cow get out of that fence? Yes, he did. Then Cow invited everyone who hopped to the barn for milk. Sounds like we have a lot of super friends in this book, huh? One thing that we saw, though, is if we just heard what Cow, what Bee had said originally about Cow being stuck in the fence, maybe our friends could have helped sooner. So it's okay. Sometimes we have to remember to ask people to repeat themselves. So boys and girls, please practice your listening skills at home with mom and dad and your family and whoever else is home with you. And remember, Miss Beth and Miss Brittany, we miss you a lot and we hope to see and hear from you soon. Goodbye.